Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jules, here with Josh. If we're together it can mean only one thing. It's time for some news, so let's hit that jingle. What's that? There's news? Oh my gosh! Guess it's time for Jules and Josh! Brilliant! And we're back in the room, and today we are talking about Nintendo, or more specifically, way back way, there was a potential leak that yes. was announced on a forum. Game uh, well, Facts. Game yes. Facts. So one week ago, who said, return to this post mm. on May the 7th, because mm. I will be proven right, because it announced a lot of this stuff about the Nintendo Online service and you know how that was going to work, the mm -hmm. replacement mm -hmm. of the Virtual Console with like Nintendo Classics and a sort of PlayStation Plus style, style subscription, mm -hmm. which is point to this being true. Which has happened. Now, usually when it comes to sort of forums and people spouting out claims, I usually just completely ignore them, like I do the claims that Ewan is not not my son. But this potentially has a, a, a there's a now a, a large scope for all of the other stuff that was included in this quite lengthy post yeah. to be true. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through all of the other bits that were posted there and talk about their feasibility because there is some very interesting stuff. Some outrageous stuff. Some I stuff that say. does smell a little bit whiffy. Yeah. But let's go through, shall well, we? The, the whole thing is apparently uh, Nintendo's entire E3 presentation. Mm, which, which is... They've even... The, the, the post has even said exactly how long the presentation... 36 minutes long. Which... which is so specific. Yeah. <laughs> like, if they'd said, oh, it was going to be under 40 minutes, then that allows some sort of margin for error. Yes. There's a margin for error, but this 36 minutes is so bang on that people will literally be sitting there going like, right, okay, come on then. And I tell you, man, if you fit all of this into 36 minutes, there's a lot of it's content. It's a good show. I mean, I, I would say that this is going to be more one hour, 36 minutes, yeah, with maybe. all the footage that they're going to do. So maybe there's that's we're already off to a shaky start. But the first one, the first big one, is that Spyro is coming to switch, according to this. It is. Um, apparently, it's going to have a lot more functionality than you may think. It's not just a mere port, because he's got a but big role to play in other games. What's wrong with just a mere port? Well, nothing is wrong, but you know, Nintendo needs something to sort of sell this console. Because why would you buy Spyro on Switch and not PlayStation or any it, other console? A simple answer to that, you then. don't have a PS4. <laughs> Great point. <laughs> Great so, point. So there we go. So, I mean, yeah. I don't know why they need this, but fine. If they are going to get an extra bit for that, I'm sure it'll be some waggle motion control trolls. Yeah. It'll probably be something like the controller will vibrate when there's hidden gems nearby. It will be well, something like, oh, wait, well, do you have details? I do have details. Oh my gosh. Because, uh, so it's going to start in Spyro, but the sure. twist is it's also going to end allegedly on Spyro. Smash Brothers is going to close out the show with two trailers one oh, to announce nice. Captain Toad. The second to announce Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon as playable characters. C I sorry, I'm more taken back C by Captain, Captain Toad. Toad. Yeah, that's the least threatening like character that they've created <laughs> in a long time. In in where in a situation where Yoshi made of wool <laughs> is, is is a viable option, Captain Toad is somehow less threatening than that. Yeah. However, at the same time. However. Yeah. Be fine if he was, if he had some interesting moves. I, I would imagine the giant knapsack that he carries around with him, being able to throw out items, that could be pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like how um, ooh, the, 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 the uh, Pac-Man used to like create items and stuff yep. like that. However, Crash and Spyro being included in Smash would be a huge, huge reveal. 100%. I, ooh, I would say I would doubt it, but then again, yes. I never thought that I'd see Bayonetta and Cloud yeah. in, in Smash. I mean, so there is definitely an open thing. but. I think that Activision, they have heavily played onto the console war between, you know, uh, not war, the consoles of um, Xbox One and PS4. So for them to give that extra They're exclusivity to them. Quite eager to strike up partnerships with people, you know, like mm -hmm. they've got a really deep relationship with Sony now to reveal all of the uh, Call of Duty stuff on their stage, right. where it used to be Microsoft. And a lot of this uh, presentation is allegedly going to be based around Activision type. Um, reveals right. because okay. there is a, a, an announcement allegedly coming that Black Ops 4, but only the Battle Royale mode, which hasn't even been confirmed in itself, but is rumored to be created by a different studio than Treyarch. Right. Uh, that is coming to Switch. It's going to be cross play with PlayStation and uh, Xbox and PC. But Black Ops 4 Regular Edition is not coming to Switch. So they only get one mode, but yes. the mode that they get is the one that big. will work with everybody. Yeah, yeah. which is 
kind of a, a take yeah. with one hand, give with yeah, the other sort of thing, bit. isn't it? Like, but if that mode is great, then it's good. it's fantastic. Yeah. But again, a shame that the uh, Switch owners are getting a little bit sharp. Yeah, on that it's, front. it's really strange. I do genuinely yeah. feel sorry for them. They have one of the most fan. Fantastically innovative consoles, yeah. but just unfortunately not the hardware power to run the sort of big, what? big boys. As a uh, as a recent Switch owner, I've never really been into Nintendo, not because of you know lack of enthusiasm, just because I only have like one console of each mm -hmm. generation growing up, and it was always Microsoft or Sony. So to me, I want to go in with the Switch now I have now and like get to play all the old games, get to play all these new games, and get yeah. excited. And this this is exciting so far, but yeah, to get weird announcements like Black Ops. Battle Royale mode's coming, but Black Ops 4 isn't. isn't yeah. It's a bit of a weird half step, and I don't know if it's always been this way. Very I know they've always had a shaky relationship with third parties, and they seem to be sort of trying to remedy this, but yeah. I don't know if this is the way. Not entirely sure about that one, but still, that could be definitely happening. Um, so we've got here that it says, Yoshi flipped around. Yeah, well... <laughs> so there's a new Yoshi game coming out. There's a new Yoshi game coming okay. out. I think we already knew this, but uh, it's subtitled Flipped Around, and it's going to come out August. I mean... I mean, fair enough. I mean, it's, Woolly World did yeah. well. I mean, it's, like it's, it has the same um, amiibo functionality as Woolly World, which is cool. Fine. I guess if you're into that stuff. I thought that as uh, sort of as platformers go, unoffensive, yeah. beautiful looking, loads of like love gone into it. Just never really struck me as being the hardcore right. 2D platform. Not that it ever was meant to be. <laughs> I'm just saying it. I I just bypassed it. Yeah. So then we've got another thing saying that there's a new Paper Mario coming out. That I would be interested in. Um, However, is it going to be catch. like a oh, little, little, little catch oh, here? Okay. It's not made by the people in charge of the most recent entries into this franchise. It's okay. been, it, they, didn't, they didn't specify who's actually making it, but he said it's definitely not. I can't remember the name. I should have written this down. So, so, so the last one that came out was what? Sticker Star? Was that the last one that came out for it? I think maybe. Uh, yes, that was, uh, that was okay. Right. Was, that was just okay. okay. I prefer the older ones personally. So actually this being developed by yeah. somebody else, not actually a huge deal to me. Well, apparently it's sort of going to go back to the style of those old games, which I've heard. Well, Fantastic. Well, I mean, this is what this yes. being reported. Okay, cool. So that could be potentially happening. Would love to see that. And it would actually be another first party exclusive that yeah. they desperately need to keep going. I'm not saying that the Switch nope. library is it at all in any bad shape, but it's just keeping those first party exclusives coming out at a Definitely. consistent rate. That's how you maintain your foot in the market. That said, this is a strong start, but what I'm going to say next could just be the spanner in the works. Just could go just on them. Go blow on. it all to hell because uh, they also revealed that Mario Odyssey is going to get some DLC, which you know starts all right. Apparently, on the day of the conference, mm. there's going to be a reveal that Luigi is playable. And perfect, the seven makes moons, perfect yes, sense. Makes perfect his sense. character. Yep. But then, in a, at an unspecified date, mm. they're also going to add Waluigi and Wario. Right. First part of that can totally get behind, can see that, because obviously he is his brother. Yes. Having DLC for Mario Odyssey, one of the best Mario games I've played in a long, long time, makes perfect sense. Keep that game going. Do I think that Wario and Waluigi are going to be joining? Do I f <laughs> Not a chance now. I don't think. That's I what just, I've heard. The, the, the creator of Waluigi doesn't like Waluigi. Yeah. Like, they don't include him in any stuff. He's never had his own game. I doubt that. I really doubt it. If they were going to do DLC characters, it would be the classic Peach Toad. Right. If I'm, if I'm just yeah. putting it out there, that's probably what they would do. This has been the sticking point since, it was, uh, since he made this post last mm. week. You know, everyone was saying, well, that Mario DLC is just just ruined it's, it's, all credibility, yeah, you know, know what I mean? And I know. It's just a bit too out there. But then again, but th I love the fact that you put in your in your notes, Billy Bull it, there. Yeah, well. However, it could be. It could be. It's just, that's the thing that sticks out the most, yes. I'd say. Yeah. Um, then we've got um, uh, Sega Ages line. Yeah, they're, they're, they're two in... Two Sonic Adventure games. Yes, I, this means nothing to me, Jules. I don't know. If, I, two Sonic Adventure games and Super Sonic Racing, but right. they're under different lines. So, Sonic Adventure oh, right. is one of those very, very weird gaming lines where the fans absolutely loved it when it came out. Yes. And I can see why I went back recently and I played through. Everyone talks about the opening levels of like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. However, what people really fail to realize when going back to it is it's not the best game consistently, yet nostalgia has completely blinded them. Right. It is an unpopular opinion. I am aware of that, and I'm sure that the comment section will let me know. However, go back and play Knuckles stages again, and you tell me that trying to find a 
Chaos Emerald, with, which randomly changes location every single time you die, quickly, is fun. It's not. Well, you know what, you're gonna get two of them, so <laughs> together they might make one solid it good game. If, if they remaster the whole thing, like up res the graphics, do all of that, but if it's just a straight port, right. if it's two straight ports, there have been many of these already, I can't see them adding too much into it. Okay. I'm much more interested in the Sonic Mania Plus thing. Yeah. That, that's much, that's where the franchise should be going. Anyway, Weedly. Super Sonic Racing though. Yeah. Now that's, maybe I'm being really stupid, but the only Sonic Racing games I remember are the decent ones, the transformed <laughs> ones, and Sonic R. I don't know this title, Super Sonic Racing. No. Whether or not that's appeared on a different console or I the old N-Gage. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that, I don't you know. You could have. Um, I don't know. There wasn't much re uh, revealed about that, just the fact that it's coming. They're, they're saying a bullet points were just... Do, do, do. I would, but, but to be fair, if they can capture the magic that they had with Sonic Racing Transformed, that or All Stars, whatever it was, the yeah. the, fight, the most recent one with Dana Patrick uh, or Dana Patrick, the uh, real life human who races alongside Sonic. Anyway, great game. Would uh, love more of that, please. Metroid Prime Four gameplay trailer. Yeah, which we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, Metroid that would Prime. be spicy. Yes, gameplay trailer mm. out in 2019, which is mm. no surprise. Uh, a lot of us. Oh, that was just yeah. Gonna be, yeah, it's it's thing. it is high time for yes, this game yes. to come out. Which is you know I'm, I would have ended a Metro Metro Prime maybe. I don't yeah. know. Just ended the conference. Yeah, I mean a big game. It would have been the whole stuff like yeah, it would be because yeah. ev everyone's expecting Smash. Everyone? The thing is, is that everyone's expecting like you say that the uh, final thing will be a Smash announcement. Everyone's making jokes about it and like you know saying like oh it's because of the reveal that they did with the Splatoon thing, the, the yeah. eye and the symbol. That would be a much bigger one. You'd be like, okay, so there's the Smash announcement, and everyone thinks, oh, we might pack up, go away, have a sandwich, talk to, talk to Charles. Well, like, but then all of a sudden, boom! <laughs> Metroid Prime 4. Well, they're going to go boom, boom, because they've got a one-two punch of Metroid Prime 4, and then Pokemon for the Switch, which is right. apparently a new red and blue. Now that is mind-blowing and kind of deserves a, a ton of dissection, yes. because... Just porting red and blue to the Switch would guarantee good sales regardless. Definitely. Like, even if it was the fire red ones and the, what was the other one that they did? Leaf green? Yeah, it was. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they, they changed it back, didn't mm. they? If they just did that, people would love that, being able to just carry that around. However, if it is a remastered, mm. another take on it with new graphics and a new perspective. That's what it seemed to be oh, hinting towards, that, which is, That you know. alone would should be its own conference. Yeah. That's <laughs> huge news. But it's just slap bang in, in, the, the, in the middle, in the middle ac this. according to this. 36 yeah. minutes. Yeah. It, this yeah. will be a white knuckle roller coaster ride if this is true. If 36 minutes, I would there will not be a person able to stand up because of all of the blood rushing to their dicks. <laughs> like this is some big news, but that is, the news. that is the news. Let us know what you think about this. Do you think there's any credibility to this? I mean, list out your things that you're most looking forward to and the things that stink a little bit of Billy Bullshit. Waluigi. Yeah, Waluigi is probably that one there, yeah. But anyway, as always, I've been Jules. I've been Josh. You've been awesome, and we'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye.